Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Call. Today we're going to visit a taiyaki shop. Now for those of you who know what taiyaki is, there's no need for explanation, but uh, what it is is a fish-shaped pancake which is filled with sweet bean jam. And uh, very, very popular all over Japan and amongst foreigners who come to Japan as well. The name of the shop we're going to is called Nakagawa and they've been in business for 60 years. Edogawa Umanabi. To get to the Taiyaki shop Nakagawa, just take a train on the JR Sobu line from Akihabara Station to Hirai Station. From there, it is just a two minute walk. There it is, just like the map said. There, you see this big sign up there that says Nakagawa. Ah, Nakagawa has been making taiyaki for 60 years. The present proprietors, Mr. and Mrs. Nakagawa, are the second generation to manage the shop. He pours a batter made from flour and sugar, etc., into a metal mold shaped like a sea bream and heats it. That is the uncle. It's uh, red beans that have been uh, boiled and then smashed and then add a little sugar to it. It's a very simple, uh, very simple ingredient, but it's very, very tasty. Uh, I can hardly wait. I, you know, it smells like pancakes that I used to cook when I was a little kid. Once one side is partially cooked, he then pours batter into the other side of the mold. Then, when the timing is just right... You see how it's shaped like a fish? It's actually, uh, the name of this fish is Thai, which is a sea breed. Oh, it smells wonderful too. It smells like pancakes, freshly cooked pancakes, but a little bit of sweetness in there too. Dig us. Oh, there's so much anko in there. But this is not sweet, it's not sweet. It's not sweet, it's not sweet. It's not sweet, it's not sweet. It's not sweet, it's not sweet. Tasty and reasonably priced. This is really a good mid-afternoon snack. In addition to the traditional anko infused taiyaki, the version using a pudding like custard cream is also very popular amongst young people. Just like pudding. Oh, this is delicious. I like anko, but I like it too. This is a little bit of a little bit. The taiyaki shop Nakagawa has also come up with a variety of other sweets to try. For example, ice cream topped with kinako, which is flour made from roasted soybeans and a bit of sugar. It's also quite popular. One word of advice, there are actually three different styles of anko eaten in Japan. Um, they're all made from red beans, and of course they are boiled and then sweetened with sugar, of course, but it depends on how you smash them which makes the difference. Like this one on the end, it's almost not smashed at all. This one in the middle, sort of half smashed, and this one at this end uh, is completely smashed and then run through a filter to make sure it's really smooth. Different kinds of Japanese sweets use different kinds of anko, so when you come to Japan, try all three and see which one you like best. I like these taiyaki shops, you know, you'll find them all over Tokyo and they're a great place to just like grab a little mid-afternoon snack. They're cheap, they're uh, sweet, and they're filling. So if you come to Japan, give it a try. The operating hours for Nakagawa are shown here. 